The Zagreb Ranking Series Tournament is about to get underway in Croatia, and I am super excited for 97 kilograms, a potential semifinal, Kyle Snyder versus Cameron Gassimpour. I am so excited for this because Gassimpour, I believe, can actually push Kyle Snyder. This does not happen very often, definitely not in America, and even internationally. And these two actually wrestled at the 2022 World Cup, and it was all Kyle Snyder. Now, the reason I think this one could go differently, and don't get me wrong, I'm still picking Kyle Snyder, but why I still think Kyle Snyder is gonna get pushed by Gassimpour is because the last time they met was the first time Gassimpour had wrestled at 97 kilograms. He has spent almost his entire career at either 86 or 92 kilograms, where he's been very successful. Now, he obviously has to move up to 97 kilograms. I guess he could go down, but he's choosing to move up to 97 kilograms to try and secure that Olympic team spot. Obviously, 92 kilograms, not an Olympic weight class. He got very tired in the World Cup match and it affected his performance. The other reason I think this could go differently is because Taz Udinov exposed Kyle Snyder a little bit in ways that I think Gasapur could potentially capitalize on. Let's take a look. Kyle Snyder did not score a takedown, only step outs. Here's his first one, straight on, blast double, takes Gasapur out of bounds. Let's look at a similar situation. Kyle Snyder shoots the high crotch, but switches off to a double, comes up off of his knees, takes Tazudinov to the edge, but Tazudinov doesn't even have his hands locked, just a crotch lift without his hands locked. That's really impressive stuff. It does take a lot of strength. Let's look at Kyle Snyder's second step out against Gassimpour. This one's a little bit different because he runs his knees to get the step out, doesn't come up to his feet. That's how you can avoid the crotch lift scenarios by keeping your weight low. However, let's look at how Tazudinov scored his first four points against Kyle Snyder. Kyle Snyder shoots double, stays on his knees, chest wrap. So, when Gassimpour had any resemblance of a gas tank, those were the only two offensive points Kyle Snyder scored. He also scored a passivity point before that, and then a garbage time takedown when Gassimpour was just dead at the end. But if Kyle Snyder once again tries to push Gassimpour out by attacking his legs, if his weight is up, Gassimpour could look crotch lock. If his weight is low and he's on his knees, Gassimpour could potentially look for a chest wrap. And I'll throw in one more time that Tazudinov scored on a counter in a similar situation. This time though, not a double leg, just a step in. But this time Tazudinov goes wizard and wizard kick to score the takedown. So, like I said, I'm still picking Kyle Snyder, but this match is very interesting to me because if Gassimpour can have a gas tank and he can use those counters effectively, that's when this gets really interesting. So tune in to flowwrestling.org to watch the Zagreb Ranking Series Tournament and watch Kyle Snyder take on Cameron Gassimpour in the 97 kilogram semifinals.